All right, it's time to get our butts kicked. Chicago land. Um, two tenths off in qualifying pace. And then uh, car feels really tight. I think I remember last time, last season, people were putting it in the fence on the high side. Um, just going to have to hope that we get a decent enough Q run. I still don't even know where the right Q line is. Fastest I can go is up top. I just get too loose off the bottom. Out of two. Um, so if I want to do a point three, then yeah, it's actually a little weaker. A weaker field than normal, isn't it? Maybe not. 4,200. So, we got all the normals in here. A couple of different names, but, uh, yeah, hopefully we can pull something off. Got a new thumbnail style, and just change that up every few seasons. And then, new paint scheme color. Well, not new paint scheme, but just different colors. So, um, yeah. Just gonna do our best. All we can do. 21 cars. So, we've got some green on the car. As you'll see in a few seconds. And, yeah, I'm just, I don't know where the quick way is, so I guess we'll have to go look and see what some people reveal in practice. I would go up on track, but I don't know where the 21 is going to go. And there we go. But we'll go around the corner, and practice will be done. But we'll at least be able to get a decent feel for grip out here. And I just screwed JP up on his lap. Sorry. Not that these laps matter, but I still don't like doing that to someone. Alright, quite a bit of grip. So, let's see, JP runs a 31.5, let's see how that was accomplished. Top side. Here we are, slow in the way. Okay, he's going top side both ways. Okay, well, that's what we'll try to do, but I just don't think I've got the speed or the ability to get it to turn, and I'll probably be a little too low out of or into the corner. Biggest thing is you can't have the car be going up towards the wall if you're going to run the high side on entry. You got to be turning down, so you got to be closer to the wall on entry, which we all know is one of my issues. So first lap's a throwaway. You're never up to speed. I'm just gonna use it to get the tires in. Feel it out. higher on the actual lap. It does. 
is. Now we're looking in the point ones. Just a little too low there. We slipped up. We're gonna lose a bit of time. And I hit the wall. Fuck me. <sighs> yeah, maybe a point zero. I entered too low, then it got sideways. All right, well, that sucked. Just to make us feel better, did Gavin get two laps? Yeah, all right, well, somehow we pulled off a really decent first lap. Um, so that's, like, that's the fastest lap I've ran. But, I mean, we could have been up there in second. Good job to Gavin up there. That's uh, pretty impressive. So, we're mid-pack, we're starting 10th, we're the number 10, and yeah, this is, is a very aggressive track, so you got to... I don't know. I don't know what to do. I know you can save some tires and be quicker at the end. I feel like this is going to be big wreck. I don't know why. It's just there's quite a few people out of place. I'm not saying Gavin's going to cause it. I'm just saying. Lower car numbers like the 1, 3, you know, they're further back than normal. And they're going to feel like they have to pass the double One to digits. Go. Next time by, line up on the outside. Pit road is closed. So, and bad news for us. We've got a Days of Thunder yellow, yellow car behind us. Let's hope that doesn't stick to the stereotype. Um. Looks like we've got a whole different spec map on uh, JP's card. Might have uploaded a different paint, but without a spec map, so the spec map's still on it from his old paint. If I don't have it, delete things out before it loads up the new ones. But a uh, quick talk about the league that'll be starting up on the 11th with the Arca series. I'm going to make it a C 4.0. Um, you can get to a C 4.0 just by running the Arca series in official racing. So I'm going to do that. We're going to have three sets of tires now on the wall. So four sets total. And the track We'll start from zero, marbles not moved. Just because I kind of like what it was doing with the track at Five Flags. So tire wear is going to be a lot more on the first run, a lot less on the last run. And there's going to be a lot more strategy. So those races 
will all be over with by 10.15 at night on the east coast. So, um, short sign-up period in practice of 15 minutes, but everyone should have practice the week before in the official series. So, uh, hopefully it's fun, but uh, first week's at Myrtle Imagine Beach, that's the only one that doesn't again. go with the official series, and then Charlotte instead of the Roval, and then we'll see about the dirt track. Got a great start. The entire outside line got a great start. I don't want to put it up on the wall. Because we're not up to speed. It's not going to do anything. Jordan's going to kill us. Not Jordan. Is it Jordan? It's Colton. Different. I thought it was the same paint scheme. We're going to be aggressive there. He was struggling massively. So we're just going to go, and then we'll back it off once we get into a nice holding position. Now we're passing Jordan. Don't know how, but... We're in the right line at the right time. The 11's getting loose. Don't know who that is. That's a name that we've not seen in the series. All right, we're in fourth. Now we're gonna just kind of save our stuff. I think that was the best start we've ever had, 10th to 4th. But back to 5th now. He's getting loose up ahead, that's Thomas. No turn. Stay low. There was a car on the high Not really worried about us being side by side here. It's not slowing me down. It's not wearing my tires out anymore. The only thing I have to worry about is him screwing up. Or me screwing up. Trying not to run the high side. There's no rubber up there, so I don't want to beat up the tires. Doing some big lifts early. Long ways to go in this race, and we're way ahead of where we should be. Now the people that are running the bottom are going to have a little bit better wear on their right rear. They're going to be running a little looser. We're probably going to go tight. Most likely. Oh, that was a weird 
snap. Just trying to keep it off the top side for a little bit longer. Car outside, clear outside. Bump into the corner. He was trying to get past Larry. I was lifting off, saving tires like I had been. He was trying to run the rim, which you can go in really deep, but uh, I definitely was not doing that, so I'm holding him up, but it's kind of helping at the moment. Oh, not helping now. A little loose. Normally I'd just let Larry go, but after him whining about short tracks, I've kind of just went that. Eh, maybe he's not a person that I need to give extra room and space to and just let him go because he's faster, especially if this is the only racing he likes to do. I mean, he'll still beat us, but we're just not going to give it to him easy anymore. Top side. Let's go right around the wall if we can. Clear inside. Almost to halfway. Don't know how the nine got such a massive run in there. Got a massive gap between us and the rest of the field, so something might have happened mid pack. Ooh, we got loose, and we got some. Oh, um, Gavin got wrecked. Lots of people died, it looks like, last lap or two. Other Gavin, though, still up front. I feel like around the end of this race, we're going to fall off hard, but at the moment, we're okay. Still not even halfway. We're going to put it in the wall here. Had to back it off. We were just heading towards the wall at corner entry and totally screwed it up. A little bobble by JP, who has not been able to get past the 11. Big push, big loaves. Luckily, Gavin lifted. We were sliding up to hit him there. That was almost bad. I don't feel terrible. 
Us getting all that position for free early. Still don't know how that happened, but... Don't feel bad. But we are going to lose a couple of spots here. But there should be a couple of spots that we... Like the 11 starting to fall off, Gavin's starting to fall off. I mean, I don't understand that, but congrats to him. He comes up high and then decides he wants to come down low. Uh, great job to him. Oh, he just he comes up and then turns down. Like when we go down below him. I don't don't fucking get it. That was so stupid. Like I don't know why he even got up in the top lane in traffic, but oh, congrats. It worked out really well for him. We had to lift when he came up in front of us, and then I'm just, I'm not gonna lift twice for someone that's changed lanes twice. Not gonna happen. It's absolutely stupid. Great racing. Until that guy joined us. Pit box team, 10. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Okay, go. Worst schedule ever. I think that's what you're supposed to say when you suck at something, right? Alright, well... That, unfortunately, is another 2x to our name. We're up to five incidents on the season. Should have just dove to pit road right there, but no, tires are fucked. There's no turn in this car now. We got a reset, but the tires are on fire at the moment. After dragging around with the damage. even going to be Gavin, I don't think. Nope, we are going to be Gavin. He's two laps down. One lap down. Yeah, apparently I've got to hit the brakes when you change lanes three times in a race down the back stretch. I just, I don't get it. Don't get it, but whatever. Right front is so fucked. So, kind of like Myrtle Beach, we're uh, now doing the second half of the race. 
Very boring in the back. Gotta watch out for those orange, white, and black cars, I guess. Hey, you got the pass done, though. He's ahead of us, and he's gonna finish ahead of us. Just really sucks, because had a decent run going. We were gonna be able to pass the 11, and I'm pretty sure Gavin, other Gavin, but all for not. Oh well, I'm sure it, he'll blame me for that. Go look at the replay, but I mean, he just started turning down after he decided he wanted the top lane behind traffic. He was passing people on the bottom. I don't know why he decided to go up there. Just one of those very stupid moves that he didn't even need to do. It wasn't going to do anything for him. But, oh well. All I can do is drive my car. James, though, leading it right now. Um, Lewandowski's probably... I don't know. He's not that close, actually. I think James has got this one. Yeah, this was one of the worst top splits that we've had. Oh yeah, there's only two laps to go. He's got a second lead. Awesome. Good to see James win. in this hole. So, we can go look at it. See who's to blame for them all. Oh no, the nine quit, so he did not finish ahead of us. White flag. We beat Gavin. That's all that matters, right? He must have had the to toe or something. Or was. Yeah, toe or he. I don't know. Maybe he got a penalty if it was on the front stretch. But. Not a good one. At least James won. That's uh, 
at least some good came out of it. Not that I have anything against Lewandowski, but um, All right. There's the it's good flag. to see James get the win. Okay, we'll get him next time. <laughs> All right, well, let's go take a look at what all we got. We didn't get uh, didn't get any messages, but let's see what happened out there. Not even worth reporting our tires. I went past it, didn't I? Yeah. Oh. Well, that was stupid. Um, yeah, bump drafting with this car. When you're, I mean, that was absolutely stupid. Like, the one thing you should know in this car don't fucking bump draft ever. Hooks him. Like he's not trying to pass him, and he's not lifting off. And oh, no, oh, Gavin's gonna have a good thumbnail. Jesus. No, Gavin's car was totally trashed. I mean, yeah, the good thing is Gavin's gonna have an awesome screen or thumbnail here with that right there. Something along the lines of that. Positives, right? He's gonna get some more clicks than normal. Andrew, he was in that. And he destroyed. The one's gonna drag the ball on the tree. So, alright, yeah. I mean, what the hell is this? He's up here. We're getting a run. He comes up, so I turn down. You get the nose there, and he just starts turning down. It's like, what am I supposed to do there? Like, I guess you can put some paint on some blinkers on it. Maybe if you're going to be changing lanes that much. Just racing there, but this is just so pointless. Like, he comes up here, okay, fine, we'll come down here. Alright, nope, he's just gonna turn. And then we stuffed the one in the wall, but I, I just. What was the point of it? Like, he clearly just. was blocking us, I guess. Uh, let's watch it. We got the top side. We're going to have a bigger run off the corner. He was getting the bottom to roll just fine. We get a run. He decides to come up. Okay, fine. Whatever. I'll come down here. Nope. He's just going to turn down. Like, <laughs> just... Nothing. Uh, nothing we could do there. <sighs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I can't explain it. Apparently I'm just supposed to lift and stay in line if you come up and take away the line. Or I'm supposed to lift if you decide that you don't actually want the top and you want to go down low. JP, big push, little wall tap. Eleven's gonna drag the wall. No, just barely. 
Sadowski, Miles behind. Mike, I think it's just given up here at this point. Gavin, are we going to get a wall hit out of you? We do! It's like the uh, say the thing meme. And good baby's got to get way out of it. One car hard into the wall. Where does Gavin end up getting? Seventh. Billy, work on the top side, and he actually gets, oh, he gets 12. He was closing up on us, and I assume this is at the end of the race, yeah. So, let's take a look at the damage. And we lose 64i rating, and we lose 0 .04 safety rating. So, it is what it is. I can't drive other people's cars. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.